everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. Well, we have done it. We have made it. This is part four, the ultimate episode of our four-part Mother Earth Brew Co. Portfolio Tasting Extravaganza. Oh, behave. But, quick recap. On that first episode, part one, we tasted and reviewed Mother Earth's flagship beer, their Cali Creamin. On that second episode, we tasted and reviewed the first offshoot of the Cali Creamin, the Cali Creamin Orange Creamsicle. On that third episode, we tasted another offshoot of the Cali Creamin, the Cali Creamin Beaches and Cream. So, what do we have in store for this fourth and final episode of the tasting? We are tasting and reviewing another offshoot of the Cali Creamin. However, this is the Cali Creamin Nitro version. So, Nitrogen instead of CO2. And uh, why do breweries use nitrogen? Well, two reasons, essentially. First reason is uh, the nitrogen is supposed to add an extra layer of creaminess to the beer. So that's number one. And the second reason is the nitrogen. Sometimes with the CO2, you will get that uh, carbonic bite. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes you'll get a little bit of carbonic bite when you first take the sip. Uh, so this is supposed to alleviate that carbonic bite. So without further ado... Uh, Nitro Cali Creamin, and, oh, and really quickly, the stats on this one are also the same as these three. ABV is 5%, IBU 18. So, last but not least, here we go. Cali Creamin Nitro. We are popping the top on this one. It's been a fun ride, but all good things must come to an end. Here we go. Boom, boom, baby. One, two. Oh, yeah. We got some smoke on that one. Let's get a nice pour. That should do it. Ah, a little bit more on this one. It's a bigger can, and it's the fourth, the fourth episode. It's the final fourth episode. Boom. Here we go. Color-wise. Well, interesting. Color is almost the same as this. However, it is a little bit darker than these two. Almost on par. Although, it's not clear. We cannot see through that one. These ones, you could see right through it. This one, you cannot. Uh, and I will say, very, very little carbonation on top, even with the nitro. Uh, some uh, soap suds floating on top that are pure white. But here we go. Let's give this one a swirl, swirl, swirl away. And uh, let's give it a, uh, yeah, let's give it a nose. We are sipping. We're not even sipping yet. I got to nose this baby first. Here we go. Nose number one. What do we got? Ah, well, similar to the original, first and foremost, vanilla. But we're also getting those cereal grains are coming through, those doughy notes. And one more quick nose. Slight, slight creaminess as well. But uh, as I swirl, swirl, swirl away, and the, uh, the foam is thickening up. But uh, yeah, so... I'm swirl, 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 and uh, let's give this bad boy a sip, and let's see what we got. And uh, once again, I'm going to prose to Mother Earth Brew Co., and I'm going to prose to uh, the Cali Creamin series. Yeah, prose, baby. It's been fun. Sip number one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. First and foremost, I'm going to say this. This was a light-bodied beer. Easy light body beer. This one is a medium body beer. This beer definitely has more weight to it. It really does. And I will say, mm -hmm, with that nitrogen, uh, on top of the added mouthfeel, it is definitely, definitely creamier than the original uh, Cali Creamin. It definitely is. But what do we have flavor wise? Well, first and foremost, just like the original, Mm-hmm. We have vanilla. That vanilla is front and center. We also have... Mm-hmm. Yeah. That creaminess, man, is just is really coming through on this. That creaminess is nice. Uh, we're also getting... The cereal grains, that doughiness is kind of rounding it out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this... This is a really nice drinking beer. It really is. I gotta admit, it's it's very similar flavor wise and aroma wise to this, but that nitrogen, that I mean, that does that takes it up a notch. That really bumps it up. 
Mm-hmm. It, uh, I mean, it adds, it definitely adds another layer of creaminess to this. It, you know, thickens up that mouth feel. So now it's almost like drinking a thicker cream soda. Uh, but, I mean, it's really nice. Now, what would I give this on the pint meter Well, after I give it one more nitro sip, mm-hmm. I'm going to give this beer, hmm, I'm going to give this beer an 8.5. Absolutely, 8.5. Very nice beer. Now, the one thing, I wish the vanilla was bumped up on this one. Just a little bit. I, I wish the vanilla was brought up just a hair. Uh, I mean, the vanilla's there, but it's definitely not, it's not as, um, how do I say, it's not as showy as it was in the original Cali Creamin. So maybe that vanilla was brought up just a hair. Yeah, mm. but it is a, this is a good beer. I mean, it's a nice, refreshing, easy drinking beer. And once again, so easy. I'm going to take one more sip. Mmm. Yeah, baby. Oh, behave. That's been, that's been the catchphrase of this whole, this whole portfolio tasting. Oh, behave. Austin Powers, baby. Austin Powers, yeah. But with that, I want to thank everyone for putting up, putting up with me for these last four episodes. And uh, I suggest everyone go out and uh, buy all these beers and, uh, yeah, do some, do some comparisons and uh, see what you think. And with that, I want to thank Mother Earth Brew Co. And, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsdevapinted.com, or the blog, which is www.pubsdevapinted.blogspot.com. And uh, I'm going to raise my glass, baby. And we will see you all in the next time. Well, I'm going to take one more quick sip. We will see you all in the next episode. So, raise that pint. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.